Hello, my beautiful earth signs. How are you? I'm Miss Psychic D. I am here to give the element of earth, each star sign, some psychic insight and guidance to help you move forward. I do this each Wednesday, so you, if today's doesn't suit you, you can go back and watch last week's. Um, if not, maybe next week's will be better. Who knows? <laughs> Always take what you need and leave the rest. All right, we're going to kick off right now with Taurus. Spirit, can we have something for Taurus, please? Something for Taurus. Jumped out. Okay, so you got to admit your true feelings to yourself, Taurus. It's time to be really, really honest with yourself. Maybe you're in, oh, I call it in between worlds at the moment, where you don't really know what's, what's good for you and what's not good for you or what's right or what's wrong or, you know, if someone's being honest or if they're not, I don't know. I feel like I'm like, I don't know, I don't know. Um, a lot of, oh, look at that, business, venture and career come up. So maybe your, part of your deliberation is when it comes to your career or your business. Because admit your true feelings to yourself. They're saying admit that you are, uh, if, if you admit your true feelings to yourself, that you, you can get any job that you want, that you can get paid what you're worth, that you can um, succeed in your business or career sector, you're going to have something to celebrate real soon. You're going to have something to celebrate. I think the energy... For the Taurus that I'm reading for is that if you want to move forward, ask for a pay rise, change jobs so you get paid what you're worth. There's some level of validation that's coming in for you, Taurus. It's going to make you feel like celebrating. So if you do get it and it does come in for you, have a glass of champers for me, won't ya? I do, yeah, it's definitely, there's an offer coming in. You're ending an old cycle. You're ending an old cycle here for yourself. We are all in a um, in a process at the moment of using our internal dialogue to talk ourselves up and into things, you do have an offer coming in with the Knight of Cups here. What I love about it is that someone sees your worth, someone sees your value, um, and they want to offer you something, offer you a position, offer you more money. They, they want to keep you. They want to have you. There's something about you, humble little you, that you know may not be feeling too good about themselves or not feeling too worthy. You have an op offer, an opportunity coming in, and Spirit is saying take two, 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 two on the camera to, to take this offer on. If it's not work and career and business venture for you, we did get the Ten of Cups. So this could be a relationship for you as well. So maybe it's both. Take it as you wish. But the predominant message for the Taurus here is the fact that if you... Put your best self forward in your in worth and confidence and end this old cycle of lack and scarcity. You're going to get the money and the validation and, and, and something to celebrate. Um, if it's got more to do with your relationship sector, then your relationship sector is going to go through a whole new rebirth as well here. And you're going to celebrate it. So you may celebrate it by just being single. You may celebrate it by actually connecting with someone. If you've had discord in your current relationship, then you may have a little bit of an anniversary or celebration coming up where you can actually enjoy your union again. So yeah, awesome Taurus. All right, now we've got Virgo. All right, Spirit, something for Virgo, please. Something for Virgo. For some reason, I just felt like Virgo is going to get really ambitious. Virgo. Yeah. Um, we got new home. And we got be yourself and we got holiday. For some reason, I'm not going to budge off the initial feeling I got. There's something about maybe you are stepping into an energetic t time frame of being a little bit more ambitious. So this is a really exciting energy for me. If you do want to purchase a new home, move new home, or just um, renovate where you currently are, that's truly possible from this moment forth. Because um, I just said add your own touch, add your own touch. So there's something about adding your own touch to something here. It could be the home. Some of you may be visiting a holiday home as well, buying a holiday home, investing in the holiday home, or some of you may just actually be going on a holiday. So um, they, they actually show me homes on wheels as well. So, you know, like I'm reading for a collective, it, it could be the fact that you buy yourself a little, a little camper van and, and go traveling for a little bit here. But there's some significance about a shift happening in your home life, making necessary adjustments, uh, getting really ambitious, and you know what? Even if you're not physically doing this, you may start getting a little bit more ambitious in your ideas. 
So if you have been at home, do, not doing much, just doing the nine to five, yada, 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 maybe you've got this newfound ambition to go traveling and go touring and, or go on a holiday or something, you know, and start exploring that a little bit more. Yeah, why not? Do it anyway. Um, Spirit wants you to know that there is some financial help coming in for you to do whatever you want to do. So if it is a loan, if it's a pay rise, if it's unexpected windfall, whether you win at the pokies, I don't know what it is. There could be some unexpected fortune that does come in for you. Um, I, I feel like you're in the middle of choices here with the judgment card. So even if you don't have the money, even if you don't have the resources, even if you don't have what you... It, even though you are where you are, that doesn't mean you can't go there, um, go there in your fantasy and in your daydream because what you visualize and what you think about actually comes into your life. So um, there could be some positive partnerships as well. So some of you may be partnering up, um, moving in with someone, uh, working with someone. There's just, I feel like I've got another person stepping in and we're gonna do something together. So yeah, take that as you wish, Virgo. All right, Capricorn. Oh, my Cappies. Not so much in the zone then. I forgot it's Cappies. Cappies, my fellow Cappies. All right, Spirit, what's coming in for Cappy? Capricorn. All right, Cappy, you need to know that everything's okay. Did you get the vegetarian cards? So some of you may be looking at altering your diet, maybe going a little bit more vegetarian. I know I've been like that lately. Um, craving craving vegetables, more, more organic produce, that's for sure. Um, Spirit just wants you to know that everything's okay. I don't know whether you do have a bit of worry about you. Did get the spiritual teacher card as well. So a lot of you will be stepping up into your spiritual teacher role or that's your guidance right now. If you are hesitating in some type of way, of becoming more of a leader in your own life. Um, Spirit say you can. it's okay to take that leap of faith because everything's gonna be okay. It's all working out in a beautiful way. Your life purpose does involve being a leader. So whether this is a teacher, whether this is a mentor, a coach, um, yeah, anything where you have a leadership type role I feel like that's what you're transitioning into, especially if you've been doing the healing work here. It's definitely work. Oh, I've got two things. We're getting two things from nearly every star sign. Right now, it feels like the tower moment where old things are falling away so new things can take its place. Really, really go easy on yourself. The energies at the moment for the collective are really confronting and up and down right now. So like I say, get the help that you need. Um, but we also got a positive shift happening in your career sector. So whatever you're working on, it's going to bear fruit for you. It's going to, you're going to be recognized in this type of teacher role or the leadership type role. So you're going to be recognized. Your work is paying off. There is abundance attached to that, but there's also love coming too, Cappy. So if you're single and looking, uh, by all means, you will be getting lucky. Um, if you are already in a current relationship, then maybe you'll have a bit of a rebirth. Lover's card, I have to say it every single time, but you have to be mindful of the lover's card because sometimes um, that can represent third party situations. So third wheels. So this can be infidelity. It can be external influences like, ex um, you know, people working too much or the in-laws are causing trouble or friends causing trouble or whatever. Um, I'm not feeling like that for you, Cappy, though, but I have to, I have to mention it because it's part of that part of that vibration. So use your discernment. All right, guys, I love you so much. I'll see you again on Friday for our collective for the week ahead. Um, yeah, feel free to leave a like, a comment and do all that positive juju. I'm on to order now. Bye.